Hey everyone, I'm Ed and you're tuning into the Sale GP Inspire Learning Programme. This is the third in our series of online challenges and this week we're going to be experimenting with pulleys. Pulleys are everywhere in sailing because they allow us to control the power of the wind without the need for petrol or engines or motors or batteries or anything like that. They allow us to be powered by nature. So stay tuned to find out how you can make a pulley system of your own. We're calling this challenge the proficient and powerful pioneeringly precise premium but proactive practical pulley program or <laughs> for short. So the first question you've probably got is what exactly is a pulley? Well a pulley tends to be some kind of circle or disc or wheel that allows a rope or cable to run over the top of it. And the reason why we do that is it allows us to change the direction of force that runs through that cable or that rope. So the most basic example would be something like this bottle and I think I've got a piece of string down here. Imagine that I want to move these safety specs across this way, but I want the force to do it to go this way. I can pull my safety specs along the table even though the force through the rope is backwards. But we can be a lot more creative than this. So your challenge is to create your very own pulley system. And there's four criteria that are gonna make yours successful for this challenge. Number one, it's got to lift as much weight as possible off the ground. Number two, it's got to make that weight travel a long distance, as long as you possibly can. Number three, it's got to do something useful, anything useful. Shutting the door. Closing the window. Delivering you a cup of tea. Or opening the door. Or maybe some sweet. And the final thing is, it's gotta be fun. If it makes us laugh, that's even better. But how are you meant to make a pulley system when you're stuck inside? Help me. Well, I'll show you. To make your own pulley system, you can use anything that you find around the house. But one thing that we found works really well is, A coat hanger. Because the coat hangers are nice and smooth, we actually don't need a wheel. So what we're gonna have to do is just make something that's gonna keep the bit of string in the same place throughout our experiment. And for that, we're going to need a couple of bits of cardboard, some scissors, some blue tack, and something to make a hole in them as well. So maybe some skewers. I'm gonna use this lid of my bottle just to draw a circle Boom. So now I need to make some holes in the middle of this, hence a bit of blue tack. I can put it underneath just to save the table and as close to the centre, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I've got to make it bigger because the centre of this is going to run through that hole. Now, because I need to get that on the pole, I'm just going to make a small snip down to the centre of the circle and do the same on this one. And then I can mount these if I'm very careful not to bend the cardboard too much. There we go. Onto my coat hanger. And all they're going to do is they're going to prevent the string from wandering off too much. They probably won't stay there on their own, so I'm going to use a little bit of tape to keep them in the same place. Where's my tape gone? Found my tape. Looking good. Nice. So what I've done is create a bit of a channel there for the string to run through. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Look at the state of this, Watson. Here we go, that's an end. Good. So now I've got my pulley system or my first pulley set up, what I can do is I can attach that somewhere high up. So I've got a piece of string here, which I'm going to put around my pulley. It's an empty bucket, which isn't very exciting. I feel like you can do a lot better than an empty bucket, but I am transferring the force through this rope. This is pulling this up, but I'm pulling down on the rope. So that is technically working as a pulley. 
We can do a lot better than that though. At the moment, this doesn't have really much mechanical advantage. And in fact, we can double the mechanical advantage, but we're gonna need another coat hanger. So now if I get my second coat hanger and I mount it up here, run my string through this pulley, through my item, and then I'm gonna attach it to this coat hanger here. This is my second kind of pulley system. I have taken my string, I've put it over my first pulley, it's then gone down through my item and back up to a fixed point. Because there's two parts of the string that will be lifting up my item, I've doubled the mechanical advantage. So let's see what I've got to hoist. Pulley systems, delivering me sweets. Don't mind if I do. So there's plans on the helper sheets to show you how to set up the pulley system, but it's really up to you. I've created my own. It pulled my sweet box up about, about a metre. And the weight of that is around 400 grams, which isn't bad. Let's see what you come up with. Get creative, play around with pulleys and create some cool systems. By now, you know the drill. Make sure you share all your ideas with us using the hashtag sellgp or hashtag sellgpinspire. Good luck.